Hercene, Daedric Prince of the Hunt. Although every Daedric Prince interacts with various individuals on Nern and creates Daedric artifacts for their use, not many of the princes leave a lasting impact on the people and state of Tamriel. Hercene's most notable impact on the history of Tamriel is the creation of man beasts, also known as lycanthropes. The most common form is, of course, werewolves, but there are also were boars, were bears, were lions, were vultures, were sharks, and were crocodiles. Hercene has become one of the more commonly worshipped princes due to the following of the lycanthropes, as well as hunters, fishermen, and trappers. Hercene almost always appears as a male figure with the head of a deer clutching a spear and often accompanied by a wolf. He is not considered to be needlessly destructive and seems to possess a sense of honor and fairness. On his hunts, he gives his prey a sporting chance and lacks a sense of maliciousness seen in some other Daedric princes. It's unknown exactly why or when Hercene created the first lycanthropes, but they've spread across the entirety of Tamriel although only werewolves have been seen in every region of the continent. One location that has a high population of lycanthropes is the snowy island of Solstheim, off the coast of Skyrim and Morrowind. Here, the native Nords tell of the Blood Moon Prophecy, an event which occurs once every era, when Hercene comes to the mortal plane and releases his werewolf hounds upon the island. There is also the appearance of a pillar of fire, a massacre of horker animals along the coasts, and the changing of one of the moons into blood red. The event culminates in the hunter's game, which involves a hunt that varies from era to era, from one man to an entire tribe. An aspect of Hercene himself is generally part of the hunt as well. By the fourth era, the blood moon prophecy is supposedly passed into history, and the werewolf population has dwindled with were-bears taking over much of their former territory. Hercene's realm of oblivion is known as the Hunting Grounds, and consists of a dense, endless forest filled with large bears, wolves, lycanthropes, and daedra. Mortals entering the plain are hunted by these creatures, and it's said that when lycanthropes die, they are sent to the Hunting Grounds to hunt for all eternity. Hercene has two notable artifacts attributed to him. The first is the Ring of Hercene, an engraved metal ring with the head of a wolf. For lycanthropes, the ring allows the wearer to control their transformations, meaning they can change into a wolf at will, and are not affected by the full moon or by bloodlust. For non-lycanthropes, it occasionally turns the bearer into a werewolf, although whether it's a curse or a gift is another matter. Hercene's other artifact is the Savior's Hide, a light piece of armor that increases the wearer's resistance to magical attacks. According to legend, the Savior's Hide was first given to the first and only mortal to escape his hunting grounds alive, but why it's called Savior's Hide is unknown. It's said that the Hide has a tendency to travel from hero to hero, as though it has a mind of its own. These artifacts are often awarded by Hercene to those that complete challenging and unique hunts for him. Hercene is one of the less involved of the Daedric Princes, rarely bothering to interfere with mortal affairs aside from his occasional hunts. Despite his overall neutral attitude, his creation and spread of lycanthropes across Tamriel has ranged from being a nuisance to being a terror. Some, such as a few members of the Companions, treat lycanthropy as a useful gift, while others consider it only a horrible curse. Regardless, lycanthropy has been a part of almost every Elder Scrolls game, and fans of werewolves have her scene to thank.